This is a play from 2000 called The Reprimand by Jane Anderson. In The Reprimand, the overheard conversation reveals a complicated power struggle between two women. We need to talk about what you did in the meeting this morning. My God, what? The reference you made about my weight. What reference? When you came into the room and Jim was making the introductions, you said, Oh, Rona, why didn't you take the bigger chair? Oh, but that was... I thought since this was your project that you should sit in the better chair. But you didn't say better. You said bigger. I did? Honest to God, that isn't what I meant. I'm so sorry if I hurt your feelings. You didn't hurt my feelings. This has nothing to do with my feelings. What concerns me, and what concerns Jim, by the way, is how this could have undermined the project. Jim said something about it? Yes. What did he say? He thought your comment was inappropriate. Really? How? I was talking about a chair. Jessica, do you honestly think anyone in that room was really listening to what I had to say after you made that comment? I thought they were interested in what you had to say. Honey, there was a reason why Dick and Danny asked you all the follow-up questions. But that's because I hadn't said anything at that point. Look, I'm a little confused about Jim's reaction because after the meeting, he said he liked what I did with the follow-up. He should acknowledge what you do. And I know the reason why he's finally said something is because I've been telling him that you deserve more credit. Oh, thank you. But I think Jim already respects what I do. He should respect you. But from what I've observed, I think... Because you're an attractive woman, that he still uses you for window dressing, especially when you're working with me. You know what I'm saying? Well, if that's the case, Jim is a jerk. I know that, and you know that, but I think you still have a lot of anger about this situation, and sometimes it really shows. I don't mean it to show. I know that. Look, I consider you, regardless of what Jim thinks, I think you're really talented, and I really love working with you. And I enjoy working with you. Thank you. And that's why I want to keep things clear between us, especially when we're working for men like Jim. No, I agree, absolutely. Oh. By the way, I have a meeting with Danny in five minutes. Oh, do you want to conference me in? I can handle it, but thank you, Jessica. I'm so glad we had this talk. Well, thank you for being honest with me. And thank you for hearing me. I really appreciate it. Let's talk later? Sure. Fat pig.